why not let me just explain a few things to you guys on how to apply for a uk tourist visa okay i've traveled to lots of countries so i just figured out why not teach people or teach my viewers and subscribers how i apply for my visa by myself so stay tuned don't go anywhere let's have fun okay and let's educate ourselves okay <laughs> Welcome back guys. So normally with the UK visa, the tourist visa, it's very simple to get um, and also you can do it by yourself. You don't need to contact an agent to pay them and take your money and all that, you know. So I'm going to take you through the steps and every document you need to apply for the UK tourist visa. If I forget anything, I would make sure I write it down there so that you would, uh, you can go through my bio or go to my description box read it and apply by yourself okay so the first document you would need is your passport right yes you will need a valid passport of six months and more for the duration that you would want to travel it has to be valid so let's say if you are applying for a two years visa you have to make sure your passport is way ahead like it's not expiring before the date you are requesting the embassy to give to you i hope you get me yes so you have to make sure first of all you have to make sure you have a passport <laughs> you can't travel without a passport so make sure you get a passport then you make sure the duration is of the time range that you would want to apply for your visa okay so the second step is knowing or having knowledge about the visa fee so with the visa fee with the uk tourist visa as at the time that i applied it was 120 dollars but currently, I do not know the price, so I would look for the price on the um, website of the UK government and I will place it down there so that you know the current price taken out. So, after having knowledge about the price for the UK visa, you have to make sure you have money in your bank. Guys, this is a very crucial moment. It is um, one of the highest reasons why they refuse people visas. If um, you do not have the financial support or aid, how are you going to convince the immigration officer that you, would, you can actually stay in their country and take care of yourself, right? So you need to make sure that the amount of money in your account is very sufficient or even overly, <laughs> overly sufficient. You get me? You feel me? So sometimes if you think your money won't be sufficient and you think you have an uncle or your dad or your mom, then you can let them sponsor you instead of you sponsoring yourself. You have, for me, I think you have a very high chance of getting the visa if you are being sponsored by probably your father or your mother because I'm assuming that they have businesses or they work and they've established themselves in the country Ghana or in Nigeria or wherever you may find yourself. So if you use them as your sponsor, it's very very high like for you to get the visa right okay so with the uk um immigration status honestly i do not know if they have a specific amount for your financial um, bank statement i do not have any idea of that but then honestly you should you should have i'm going to talk for Ghanaians, so you should have over let's say fifty thousand or 40,000 for a tourist visa. I'm not talking for students, I'm talking for tourist visas. You should have 40,000, 50,000 and above. And above, yes. If you have below such an amount, I'm not saying they are not going to grant you the visa. They can grant you the visa, but your chance of getting the visa is very low. It's very, very low. So if let's say your amount of money is lesser than the amount I mentioned, then you should make sure you are backing it up with evidence of lands, of cars, of your houses, of your workplace, your job, just to convince them that 
probably even though you have let's say twenty thousand or thirty thousand in your account you still have lands and you have cars and you wouldn't stay in that country and return back to your home country do you understand something to convince them that you would return back right i also have knowledge of people paying some agents to do bank statements for them like fake bank statements and all that but please please if you know your spirit does not sit too well with that please don't do it don't do it as i said earlier your parents will sponsor you if they have the means fine because these agents what they do is very very like <laughs> it's very risky to put yourself in that predicament you get me so sometimes you don't you don't have to risk take that kind of risk you get me so the next document you would need, you would need to write an itinerary for the embassy or the immigration officer that would be attending to your application. So the itinerary basically means that you telling the immigration officer um, what you are going to do in the UK. So as I said, this is a tourist visa um, video, right? So you, you would um, mention in your statement that you would be going to, let's say, Beckenham Palace, you would be going to the London Bridge, you would be going to, let's say, Leeds, or any any fun places that you could find on the internet, trip advisor, you could just write them down your itinerary. And note, that does not mean that you would go there. It's just to convince the immigration officer. You should have this at the back of your mind. You, sh you should really have this at the back of your mind. Whatever you write, it doesn't mean you are actually going to get go there. Maybe you would, but you just have to make your itinerary look very impressful and very realistic. Do you get me? All right. So after that, you would um, you would also need if you are working, you would need a letter of employment from your from your employee. Right. So the letter should say that you are an employee in the workplace or in the company or in the enterprise and that um, they have granted you this amount of leave, um, this amount of days for your leave. Let's say they have granted you um, two weeks or three days, four days, five days, one month, one year, whatever it is. Or, or let's say the number of days you want your visa to stay, just use that same days for your leave letter you get me so it wouldn't look complicated for you so let's say you are applying for a one month visa make sure it is stated in your leave letter that your company has actually granted you a one month leave and even some few days you get me yes so make sure your um, your company should also write that you are a good employee you come to work early you do not give them problems like make sure you say you you make your um, boss write good things about you in your letter okay also you would need your um how how is it called your pay slips you will need your pay slips from your company so if you are being paid monthly or weekly you will need that too so that should come from the company not from your bank statement no it's a different letter on its own right it's your pay slip so even if you do not have one please generate one you can go on the internet search for examples of pay slips and do it like you do it by yourself you can use canva to do that any editable app you can use it to do it by yourself you just make sure you state the real amount of money the company pays you into that sheet you, get, you can even use spread sheet right so the next document you would need is your ghana card your ghana id card you would also need to prove that you have the ghana identification card also um another document you would need if you have a car guys this is very very important to know if you have a car if you have a land if you have a house please attach the document attach pictures pictures i am really emphasizing on pictures pictures <laughs> these white people they do not joke with pictures i know some people might think it is i don't know if cliche is the right word to use but trust me on this pictures they really love pictures so if you have pictures of your house i'm not saying you add like thousands of pictures to the application no if you have one nice picture of your house 
just add it up you got a picture of your land just add it up your your car documents of your car your land and your house add it up if you have all three perfect add it up if you have just one of the three that i have mentioned no props just add it okay and trust me you will get your visa so the next document you are going to need is your accommodation proof of accommodation so let's say for instance you are going to live in a hotel or an airbnb um let's say you go to booking.com and you book a hotel right just make sure you um save the receipt they send to your email print it out or just take a screenshot of it because mind you the uk visa is an online application is 100 percent online right you don't have to go to any embassy to submit anything no everything is online the only time you would go to um their what's the name of that place i would i would look for the name and write it down i've forgotten it's just like the vsf yes but it is not the vsf so it's located at moving big in ghana for nigeria or other countries i do not know but in ghana the uk vs7 could is located at moving but i think the second or third floor yes so that is where you just go for your finger um, print and i think your picture and that's that's basically it so with the accommodation honestly you do not need to pay some people might opt to pay right once you pay just make sure you attach your receipt right the payment receipt that the hotel will give to you via your email make sure you attach it to your visa application okay so that the immigration officer will have knowledge about you paying for the hotel or the airbnb okay right if you do not pay for it just take a screenshot of the reservation letter that they will send to you and just attach it to your application and you are good to go right so with tourist visas honestly for me i do not recommend you to state in your visa application that you are going to stay with a family member bringing family members into this application is going to complicate things i think i'll make another video on that we we'll talk about that is a whole topic on its own so we'll talk about that later but for now with the kind of tourist visa i'm talking about <laughs> let's not include family okay just go by yourself that is why i'm saying if you want to book a hotel just go to booking.com you book it it's free look for a hotel that is free booking right you book it you get your reservation confirmation and that's it you don't need to pay anything if your visa is given to you fine if it's not no one no one lost do you understand fine so the next thing is um business registration if you have established a business in your home country right please if you have a registration certificate from the government please make sure you attach it to your application do not ignore that make sure you attach it to your application and attach pictures for me aside my medical job i am a baker i'm a chef as well right so i attach pictures of me making my meat pies me serving people at weddings and all that i attach pictures of that so that they will know yes that business actually belongs to me and i'm not just faking any document do you get me so guys basically this is this is actually the list of documents you would need to apply for a uk tourist visa it is very very simple right <laughs> it is very very simple but then if i forgot anything i would write it down here i'll write it down here i'll make sure i list every single document again i'll write it down here so that you would have time to go through it if you have any questions guys please write it in the comment section and i will be happy to reply you i would be happy to assist you trust me okay so we are going to end it here thank you so much for joining today's episode i hope you learned something see you same time next week bye